Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Louise and I like to show people quick and easy meals that they can prepare any day of the week. Today I'm going to be making chicken bruschetta pasta. To start with, I'm going to get the chicken prepared and ready to go. I'm using, of course, all Pampered Chef products and my knife is one of our German Forge cutlery knives and I just like to take all the fat off of the chicken, trim it up. I do buy organic chicken so there's not much fat on it to trim off. We need approximately two to three chicken breasts, depending on the size of the chicken. Now I'm going to season each chicken breast up with two of our Pampered Chef seasonings. The first one is our Italian seasoning mix, a favorite, and has been around with the Pampered Chef for a very long time. Season front and back. And the second rub that I'm going to use is a newer rub and it is our sweet basil. The reason I am using the sweet basil is because I'll be using fresh basil in the actual sauce part of the recipe. Season liberally. You want every piece of the chicken covered. And next I'm going to place in a Ziploc bag. Now I'm going to add some olive oil to the bag. And we're going to just let it marinate for, for a little while while we get the pasta ready. Now, if I had bought regular chicken breasts that are large and oversized, this is the perfect time to use a meat tenderizer to get it all the same thickness. Because if your chicken is the same thickness, then it will cook more evenly on the stove. So this is our Pampered Chef meat tenderizer, poultry on one side. If you unscrew it, flip it around, it then has the meat tenderizer on the other. Works much better than an ice cream scoop. I'm going to go ahead and leave the chicken sitting here while I get the pasta ready. So using my all-time favorite product, this is our deep covered baker. It is stoneware and I use mine um, primarily in the microwave, but stoneware is designed for oven or microwave use. And I'm actually going to cook the pasta in here. So it's one box of pasta and all you need to do is cut or break the pasta in half. Now that I have my pasta in the deep covered baker, I'm going to add chicken stock. Um, you don't want to use water because this pasta is actually going to cook and absorb all the liquid that you're adding. So you want it to be flavorful. So I'm using um, the free range chicken stock. You need either two cans or 29 ounces. So I'm just going to measure out 29 ounces in the easy read measuring cup. And these are called easy read because they are top reading. They're slanted, so there's no need to squat when seeing if you're on measure. You just simply look at it. So now I'm just adding the 29 ounces of chicken stock to the broken pasta. Going to mix it up a little bit to make sure that it's all covered with the liquid, chicken stock. I'm going to add the lid and set the timer for 15 minutes. Halfway through the cooking process, I'll toss it again and continue the cooking. If you do not have a deep covered baker to cook your pasta and you're going to cook your pasta on the stove in a conventional stock pot, then this is a super handy product to have. This is our Boil No More lid. It comes in two sizes, so you just place this on your um, water full of the pasta. And when it starts to boil, instead of boiling over and creating a huge mess, it'll actually just boil right here inside this little rim. So these are a must for doing pasta, rice, or even potatoes for mashed potatoes. I love mine. Okay, while the pasta is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get the chicken started now. So we're going to go ahead and take this over to my stove where I have the double burner gr grill pan already heated up. Okay, so this is our double burner grill pan which is perfect for large families. I cook chicken breasts, hamburgers, sausage. Hear the sizzle? That's what we want to hear. 
Um, also onions, great paninis, all sorts of delicious things on this. And since it's double burner, it's perfect for larger families. Now once you put the chicken on, you don't want to touch it. You want to leave it and you're going to let it totally cook on the one side. I am going to go ahead and add my press to it to get even cooking. I'm going to turn my burner down just a, a little bit. It's a little high. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and flip the chicken to the other side. Should be ready. Perfect. See the nice grill marks? And it's non-stick. Go ahead and replace and let it cook another five to seven minutes or until totally done. Now let's check the chicken. Looks perfectly cooked to me. So now I'm just going to turn it off and we're going to let the chicken rest before cutting into it because we don't want all the juices to run out. So we'll just let it sit there. While the chicken and the pasta are cooking, we're going to go ahead and get our garlic ready. This is our garlic peeler. And we're going to go ahead and use um, a clove of garlic with the skin on. You just pop it in and you press and you roll. And then the paper comes right off of your garlic. Super easy like that. So we need four to five cloves of garlic. Okay, we're just going to finish up with the garlic. There we go. And now we're going to place all the garlic in our manual food processor. So what I love about this is it's super easy to clean because this just goes in your dishwasher. We're going to add all of these cloves of garlic, put the lid on, and then the way it works is there's just a little latch here and you just pump. So the more you pump it, the smaller and smaller the pieces get. Okay, and then now we're going to add some fresh basil. Now when you buy the basil in the grocery store or if you um, grow your own basil, don't be stingy. You want a, um, a lot of basil. So this is our Easy Read um, colander. And I'm just going to add um, the basil in with the garlic. So we're um, using this manual food processor similar to like um, if we were making a, a pesto. Except for we're using, um, we're not using the pine nuts. Oops, well, I'm going to add the rest of it. Basil is something that I wish that um, I grew at home, but I do not have a green thumb. Everything dies. All right, so we'll pop this back on and we're just going to keep going. We're going to get a little bit of an arm workout as we go along, popping it all up. Switch arms so that I'm not crooked. You can do it left-handed. You just would rotate it this way. And then, so if you are a lefty, you can also operate the manual food processor. All right, so this right here is our little uh, mini scraper, which is designed for the manual food processor because you can fit in here. You just want to give it a little stir to make sure that all the pieces are getting cut up. And we'll give it another couple of turns. And there we go. So the next thing we're going to add is a third of a cup of olive oil. So again, using my Easy Read measuring cup, we're just going to measure this into here and pour it inside the manual food processor and give it another couple of little turns. Now the lid of the manual food processor does need to be hand washed, so do not put it in the dishwasher. All right, so this is ready and we're going to set it aside and finish up this recipe with some tomatoes. Okay, so now we also need two to three uh, Roma tomatoes. I'm going to use our color-coded tomato knife. Cut straight through the tomato, super easy. And I'm going to just take out some of the seeds and the moisture using our core and more. So this side is a melon baller and this side is a cedar. These are huge Roma tomatoes. Now I've also made this recipe using little cherry tomatoes and I just cut the cherry tomatoes in half. And um, that was also 
um, a good way of doing it. What I love about this recipe is it is so fresh and healthy. And if you actually wanted to keep this a vegetarian meal, obviously when you cook your pasta, you would just use vest vegetable stock and um, don't use the chicken and you could use some grilled shrimp. It would be also very delicious. My family loves this recipe and we do eat it um, probably a little too often. It's a good one. All right, so let's get these tomatoes all chopped up and then we'll add everything to the pasta dish. Go ahead and move this cutting board aside and I'm gonna go and get our chicken that has been cooling in the grill pan. And I'm just going to do um, one chicken breast at a time. And these are stainless steel measuring bowl set. Love these because look, it has the rubber on the bottom so your bowl won't slide around when you're mixing. Um, and these come in a set of three. This is what we call a host favorite. Just means that hosts like to get this for free or half price by having a party. So what I like to do um, when it comes time to cut chicken or shred chicken for any recipe is I use our salad choppers. So they are a double bladed kitchen shear with little serrated teeth. I just put my chicken in a bowl like this, hold them this way and chop or cut. So let me get this started and then I'll show you. Again, I'm getting another arm workout. So you see how it easily shreds the chicken. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the other one. These salad choppers are great for making um, homemade pico de gallo too. You just quarter some tomato, um, an onion, a jalapeno pepper, you throw it all in your mixing bowl and you just chop it until you get to the desired consistency. Also making a chicken salad um, is a snap and egg salad. So if you had hard boiled eggs, you throw them in your bowl and you just chop them up. Okay, the last chicken breast. We'll get that chopped up and then we'll be ready for the assembly of the dish and then we can eat dinner. So this recipe you should be able to get done in your home in under 30 minutes. So when you've come home from a hard day of work and um, you have to prepare a meal for your family, this is um, a go-to meal. Okay, don't forget that your deep covered baker will be hot when coming out of the microwave, so use your oven mitts. And now, voila! Perfectly cooked pasta. Going to get the tongs, give it a little toss. We're gonna add the basil and garlic mixture that we have in the manual food processor. Basically everything just gets added to our pasta. I'm going to add the fresh tomatoes. Okay. And I'm going to add the chicken that we just chopped up. And then of course, everything tastes better with salt and pepper. So we will add some of our fresh cracked peppercorn. And I add a little bit of salt, but not too much because I am going to add some Parmesan cheese and Parmesan cheese is um, salty. So we'll give this a quick toss. and it looks very flavorful and very delicious. The final step for our recipe is um, using our microplane grater is adding a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese. So I have that ready to go. Don't buy your Parmesan cheese in the little shaky bottle, buy fresh. It tastes so much better and if you have a nice sharp microplane, it makes it super easy to use. So we'll just add this. Now remember that Parmesan cheese is salty, so that is why I didn't add that much salt to the dish. So we'll just put this on the top and then I'll toss it all in to incorporate. And dinner is done in no time at all. Mmm, smells delicious. Dinner is served. So if you would like any of these products in your kitchen, 
You can easily contact me via Facebook at The Pampered Chef with Louise or by visiting my personal website at www.pamperedchef.biz slash Chef Louise. I would love to be able to help you get these wonderful products in your kitchen for free by hosting a fun cooking party, which is pretty much what I did here today. So thank you very much and let's get cooking.